Okay, let's look at solving a standard minimization problem using the dual. To do that, we first must be able to recognize that we are looking at a standard minimization problem. Notice that the constraints are linear inequality constraints, where the constants are non-negative, and the inequality symbols are greater than or equal to. We also have our non-negativity constraints placed on our variables. Also notice that we are minimizing here. Okay, so once we recognize it's a standard minimization problem, our first thing that we'll do is convert the standard minimization problem into its dual, which will be a standard maximization problem. To do that, we start by writing a matrix we'll call A, where A comes from the coefficients and constant from the constraints. Three, two, two, five, one, three, as well as the coefficients and constants from the objective, which will be written in the same column format with this column for y sub one, this column for y sub two, and this column for the constant. So here we would have twenty nine, ten, and zero. and we need to find a transpose. The transpose of a matrix means that we will turn the rows into columns. So our first row, 3, 2, 2, becomes our first column. Second row, 5, 1, 3, becomes our second column. And 29, 10, 0, our third column. And then we'll use the transpose matrix then to rewrite this dual as a standard maximization problem. So from a transpose we can say our goal is to maximize. Now the problem originally stated to minimize w, so we're going to maximize a new variable z equal to to x sub 1 plus 3 x sub 2. Notice I've changed w to z and y sub 1, y sub 2 have changed to x sub 1, x sub 2. Notice that now that we're dealing with a standard maximization, our inequality constraints should be less than or equal to. And then don't forget our non-negativity constraints. All right then, from our standard maximization problem, we can write an initial tableau and notice we have two constraints and so we're going to introduce two slack variables. Now the twist is, since we're working with the dual, I'm actually not going to use s sub 1 and s sub 2, but I'm going to use y sub 1 and y sub 2. Again, this is only because this is the dual that we're working with. So our initial tableau would look like this. The negative three is the most negative entry in the last row. And as we look to find which pivot element to choose, we'll construct our ratios 29 fifths, which is five and four fifths, and 
10 over 1, which is 10. So the smallest non-negative ratio is 5 4 fifths, so that will be our pivot element. Okay, so let's perform a pivot operation. To do that, we need to take 1 fifth r sub 1, store that into r sub 1. Once this becomes a 1, then we can take a negative row 1, add that into row 2 to make the 1 become a 0. And then to make the negative 3 a 0, we would need to take a positive 3 times the 1 in row 1 and add that to row 3. If you're going to use your calculator, the corresponding functions and notation would be times row 1 fifth matrix A row 1 stored into matrix A times row plus negative 1 matrix A times row 1 stored into row 2 and store that result into matrix A. And the last one would be times row plus 3, matrix A, times row 1, stored into row 3, and store that result in matrix A. Okay, so if you need to take a moment and perform these calculations by hand or using your calculator, you may want to pause the video. We'll be picking up with the next tableau.